Okay, hi. Welcome back to The Last of Us 2 Part 4. Um, I just played a bit, but the screen was frozen, so uh, I'm just going to restart that. Hi, welcome! <laughs> uh, we just got back from the- we just got out from the radio station. We're in, like, a bunch of tunnels, and we're going to run into a bunch of shamblers. So, that's always fun. You know? We gotta keep moving. Um... I also got these like new the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 2 headphones. The thing is, they're surround sound and they're also super noise cancelling. Uh, so it's just gonna make the experience ten times worse. Um, but also they're kind of really tight on my head. And I don't think oh. well, there's a way through. Like I thought they had us. I know. If I loosen them, it, they'll just end up falling off my head. So I don't really know what to do. Um, but like, it's so tight, I can hear my heart beat. Yeah. Okay, do I have, do I have, uh, Get Dina, 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 Dina. Okay. This is kind of um, a trick that I've done here. Throw the brick, then just let the clickers go get them. I just wait here. What's that? Oh, I think that's just like a pole or something. I just have to hope that no clickers hear us whilst we're in here. Or humans. You know. And then... Don't recognize me, don't recognize me, don't recognize me, please! Okay. And then we're just gonna sneak around. Sneak around. No, you're not gonna recognize us. It's okay. No, no, no. We're fine. We're cool. No, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. No, we're cool. You, no, no, no. You don't recognize us. You don't. You don't. You don't see us. Uh, we're just gonna continue up here. Oh no no get a brick get a brick get a brick we're gonna need that I think get a brick come on Dina Dina come on Sorry. Terrifying. Are you okay? No, I'm not, Dina. Thanks. Um, I wasn't looking on this side. Whoops. Nope. Yeah, nothing. Let's nothing. get out of here. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh. Handy. Thank you. Um. Oh. Oh. Maybe through here. Jules. Jules, I hope you made it out and find this. The two of us got into a minor dust up with some clickers, but we're still in one piece. Hold up here for the night to lick our wounds. The long dead body of a man watched over us, a gruesome reminder of what we of why we're doing this. This infection, it really was a warning. Better li better to live off the land than remain in this rotting mess. Zachary says if we keep heading north we'll hit the Seraphite encampment in the next couple of days. He calls it Haven and they built it themselves. Hearing him talk about it, it was hard not to get inspired, even optimistic. I pray for your safety. I hate to think of what Isaac will do if he if he goons catch you. 
if his goons catch you, I'll be holding my breath, waiting for a sign that you're okay. Okay, so they want to get away from the W other. See, they're not good people. They're not good people. Um, neither are the scars, but, you know. Scars. I wonder if that's who made all those murals. Who gutted all those wolves. Everyone in this city's a fucking psycho. <laughs> oh, Fuck. God. That didn't sound like a bloater. So does Zeno not know about bloaters? Whatever the fuck they're fighting, we should let them kill each other. Agreed. Okay, up here. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> I kind of just want to get out of here if I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, we need the rope, but... Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it would give us one more. No. No, it's fine. What's the plan? Got another ladder across there. Okay. How do we get to it? Don't you worry, Dina. I figured what it all out. Do? Okay. And then R1. God, this is terrifying. Ooh. <gasps> oh, okay. But what about, oh. Broken. Okay, yeah, so we do have to go Damn it. <laughs> oh, um, okay, Ellie. Thank you, babes. Um, so, yeah, we do have to go through the vent. <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited. This way. Let's just stay up here. Me neither. <laughs> I don't want to go down there. <sighs> okay, we've got this. We've got this. Oh, these are really tight on my head. Are they meant to be tight? <laughs> okay, actually, yeah, that's a bit better. Oh. <laughs> Oh god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Over there. On the left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. There's a runner.
no, no, you don't notice me. You don't notice me. No. No, you don't notice me. No! Am I gonna have to kill that one? I think I can't properly see the screen it's just way too dark so I am probably gonna have to I would just put it a bit lighter because it's just too dark I otherwise <laughs> no I'm clean okay. Shamblers? that's definitely that a lot better yeah where the hell do shamblers come from? I don't fucking know. But they're disgusting. Okay, <laughs> let's do a bit it's of looting. Clear. Good. Oh, what's in here? No, okay, fine. I mean, I guess it is like a good thing that I don't really need any of this stuff. But I also really want to take it. And the fact that I can't is very annoying. But, you know. Whatever. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. Um, hmm. Ooh, upgrade parts. I will take those. And we've got one of those, a trading card. <sighs> I feel so shaky. I don't like this. Oh, what's in there? Thank you. Actually, can we... Okay, we can't smash it. Fine, that's got a code on it. Okay, whatever. Um, health is full, so we can't have that. Great. Um, we'll take you... What's this? Hey, hey, Dewey, forgot the code again. Give me a soda and the code is yours. Oh. I don't read what the other one is. Uh, the code is 152. Uh, okay, that's enough. If you can't figure the rest out, I'm with the wrong man. Enjoyed. 152. 152. Okay. Let's see. One, five, two, and then we'll do four, three. Oh, yes. How'd you do that? Magic. <laughs> Even going on a event. Can you open that, please? Okay, fine. Even whilst going on a revenge quest, these two still manage to be cute. There is literally nothing in there. You can see there's nothing. Okay, fine. Uh, no, you got anything? Clearly not. Uh, oh, we'll take those. Have you got something? No, for God's sake. I mean, I mean, yeah, it does have something, but it's not. I can't take it, so it's kind of like, bleh, you know, like useless. Okay, is that it? I don't want to miss any. Whoops. I don't want to have uh, missed anything. No, okay, that looks like it's it. Um. Hmm.
I know what's coming. I know what's coming and I don't want to play it. I don't want to do this. I just don't want to do this. I think I'm going to have to... Oh, I don't... I know what's coming. I shit. Shit. I know, Ellie. Do we really, Dina? I don't think I do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Let me get that. Okay, let me get them all over there. And then I'll throw a stun bun. Oh god, no. Get up, Ellie, get up. Get up. Why aren't you getting up? She won't. Okay, fine. Um. I don't know, sometimes that happens with the controller, it will kind of just stop. Oh, no. Am I stuck here? Why can't I get up? I just wasted two stun bombs. She won't get up. Dina! Oh, now you want to get up. Huh? Huh? Stupid. Why wasn't she getting up? Ellie! Oh, God. That's so annoying. Faster crafting, this is my clarity. Um, did I? Oh, we, oh, we already have the answer. Uh... Okay, we'll go listen mode clarity, I think. God, I hated every second of that. That was disgusting. Oh my god. What the I... hell happened here? I'm gonna see some kind of train crash. Thanks, Sherlock. 
I thought that said start recording for a second. I was gonna be like, no. Oh God, okay. Give me that bottle. Nothing, really? Ugh. Jesus. I wonder how long they kept these running past hmm. outbreak day. Where do we go? Oh, up there. Yeah. I see some lighting that way. Well, up we go then. Hmm. Oh, notes. Oh, it's to jewels again. Jewels. Um. Hi, Jules. I'm still holding out hope that you're coming. It's unbelievable the amount of affected down here. Oh, trust me, honey. I know. I'm starting to admire Zachary. He's a sol he's a solid fighter in close quarters, and he can hear anything creeping around in the dark. I swear he's like a bat. Also, he prays for his ailing father every night, and he joins me in prayer for the ones I love and miss, especially you. This phrase that Zachary keeps saying, may she guide you, it's what jumps to mind every time I wonder what's up with you. Uh, maybe there is something greater, someone greater watching over us. I'm starting to sound like a religious nut, aren't I? So, may she guide you, Jules. Travel fast, travel safe, Gray. Oh, sorry. Ugh, I look, my hair, I haven't had a chance to, uh, style it. I just, it's just, like, been straightened because my hair is naturally curly. Um, so it kind of looks like trash, but, you know. Getting closer to light. Whatever. Fine, whatever. Oh, so close and yet so far. Hey, let me get you up there. Yeah. I also really want to cut my friend's sword again. Because it's, I, it was like up here and now it's like down here and it's just like a bit long, you know. What you so. got? I don't know how she was strong enough to do that, Come on. but okay. Okay. Let's rally. We're almost out. Hold on. Okay. Dina, run. Damn you. This way. Hurry. Oh god. Oh god. Go right. Run. <laughs> that sounds so fucking good. The ambience, awesome. though. I love it. <clears throat> oh god. Dina, baby, you're okay. I got you. Oh. Here. Got it. Is that really just open?
Ellie, do your bag up. I guess. Mm. Do you want to tell me what's going on with you? What's going on with me? Ellie, I just saw you bring spores. I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Come on. It's true, Dana. I was bitten a long time ago. The fuck are you talking about? I was bitten and nothing happened. The chemical burn. I love how she says it like Maria, we didn't tell her this story. I just love that. Control are the only ones who know. Like, oh my god, the chemical burn? Like, we just didn't tell her that, like, a no. month ago. Like, come on, Dina. You can't go burn. Now you know. <sighs> I can't... get you infected if that's what you worry about. See, this is what's kind of confusing. Sorry, I'm shrieking a lot. I'll shut up for a second. I can't make you immune, either. Something. Really? I think I'm pregnant. What? Don't worry, it's not yours. <laughs> what are we? What are we supposed to do now? Nothing. I just need to rest for a second. Are you fucking kidding me? How long have you known? <sighs> it was late a few weeks ago. A few weeks? We could have... We could have still turned back. I didn't know... I wasn't sure, okay? I didn't want to be a burden. Well, you're a burden now, aren't you? I'm gonna make sure this place is secured. Why'd she say they like that? Just rest. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, she laid down quickly. Um. Uh. I mean the. That was harsh, Ellie. I love you, baby, but that was harsh. But also, at the same time, this is revenge that we're doing. Like, Ellie is kind of right. And I feel like she do, she like does have a, a proper reason to be sad, uh, to be angry, I mean. Because as she said, if it was a few weeks, they could have still like turned back, but now they're kind of like in a position where they're stuck almost because ellie wants to continue going forward but she she can't really especially not with dina now because she obviously wouldn't want to hurt the baby so i uh pregnant fucking pregnant i feel like dina definitely should have told her like as that? soon as she had this suspicion but I mean, what's done is done now, you know. You can't really like, change that. Shit. There's someone living here. That's kind of cozy. Can we move up here? Please. <laughs> uh, September 4th. 
me, Perez, Green and Adams made it to the listing post two days ago and so far so good. WLF haven't come looking here yet. The city's listed the WLF. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Tours, Ward and others are probably dead. Camping here, grateful to be alive for now. September 6th, can't sleep, burning up with a fever, no medicine, looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs, no contact. Okay. Again. Oh wait, there was something, sorry. This old. Still, gotta be careful. There was something on the back. Um, anyone on the radio either, wait. No contact from the radio either. Uh, how many of us made it out? September 7th, still feverish, don't have any big cuts, probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies for where we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th, shouldn't be taking this long. Okay, so. None of them made it, but then they must have all left here because there are no bodies from what I can see. So far, anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, D, we know the virus is um, transmitted through a bite and bodily fluids. Now, Ellie isn't uh, immune per se. She, she is immune, but not in the way when you think of someone being immune, it's immune. So the tumors on her brain are basically stopping her from becoming um, uh, um, uh, infected. But she still has the virus in her, so she's not immune, which means she technically should be... I don't know really how it works in that case, but technically she should still be able to... Um, make other people infected i don't know um september 13th i don't think they're coming back they're not coming back i either got ambushed or they ditched me not my fault i got sick at least the fever's gone but now i'm starving can probably raid the buildings nearby for food then see if i can raise someone on the radio september 15th constant rain means at least uh, i at least won't die of thirst unfortunately it keeps making the elect electricity conk out all the time makes it kind of hard to use the radio uh, not like anyone's answering. Anyway, the WLF have hit all the federal listing posts. No way. Need to keep trying. September 16th. Dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out from a gunshot. Woke up an hour ago, still shaking. Need a cigarette. You'd think there'd be a faculty stash somewhere in this theatre, but apparently not this one. September 19th. Power went out again. Turn, go into the, going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back. That doesn't sound too great. Yeah, we need we need electricity. <laughs> okay. Need to get the power going. And yeah, so I'm. This is why it's kind of hard because they're like, oh, Ellie would have been a cure. She kind of wouldn't have been. The most she would have done is a vaccine. Oh, oh, okay. Magic. The most she could have made is a vaccine, but a vaccine is not a cure. A cure would mean that they could turn the previous infected, the infected that have already changed, or back into humans, which Damn. she couldn't do. You get fried? Because okay. you weren't much of an electrician. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so, uh, he didn't make it. Um, at least we got electricity. So. It's quite sad that they didn't die by a, um, a terrorist group or infected, but instead getting electrocuted. Um, but, yeah, the most she could have done is the vaccine, and even then the vaccine, it just, I, what would a vaccine do? Prevent people from turning if they get bitten, but most of the time, if you get bitten, you're probably already dead, because they would have ripped you apart. I... 
it's not like they can keep you away from the vaccine would be able to be like oh they can shield you or something what's this yes. all right it literally would have just been if you get infected you won't die see they'd still that would oh and you can basically breathe in spores but they'd still have to go around and eradicate all the infected, which apparently takes up 60% of the population. It, 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 uh, mm, which is, and the vaccine may not have even been possible because yeah, it was in a hospital that they would have made it. But this right. um, virus has been going on for like 20 years that we've seen, even like 25 years now in this game it's just i don't think it would have been possible and so i do think joel made the right choice in saving her because even after they would have okay let's say they do make a vaccine it would have to go through a numerous amount of trials which Speedy. means more people would probably have to die in order to find a correct vaccine no way. It, it just wouldn't be worth it and would they really be able to get a vaccine for every single person on the planet out of just her I don't think so. I don't think so. I do. Maybe. She's found way too many good conditioned guitars, to be honest. Sorry. Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. I need to turn my volume up for this. All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. <laughs> You're not gonna guess. Less talking. Less talking. Hi, baby. Hi. Your step. I got it. Hi. Hi. Oh, look at you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What if I drown? Oh, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's this way. You're worse. <sighs> your swim is getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta. the water with your whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. I had to know I'm getting through. Hey, look, come here. Take a look at this. You see that deer over? See yeah. Just through there, look. Yeah. 
Seal? Yeah. Looks like. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I, love I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. I love you so much. I need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. Sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick. Kelly. I beg your pardon? <laughs> My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Hi, baby. Oh, it still stands. I love you so much. I miss you. Where are you taking me? Sneakers? How many rooms do you have? Not enough. <laughs> Look at those arms flex. I love you, Joel. Here. <laughs> okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, okay. good. <laughs> But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. So, Listen, which way are you going? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. <sighs> Holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. <laughs> Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> That's a big boy. What are you doing? Uh, Ellie, be, be careful. Where is he? I want to see him. Where is yeah, he? I can see that. Just oh, don't you. die falling off of one. <laughs> Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. <laughs> I've got help a puzzle. Don't ah! worry. Hey, hey! <laughs> See that? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. Why are you in here? Oh, I got in, Ali. What's this? Uh, it's a book. <laughs> it's a dinosaur book. Okay. It's the same book as in his house. <laughs> oh, man. You want to try it on? <laughs> You're lost. Oh, look at those talons. 
That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D. Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they call them in this movie I saw. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It it's is pretty role. funny. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh I missed you, baby. Compsognathus. Whew, that's a big name for little guys. Yes. Yeah, they'd swarm you. Did you see that in a movie too? <laughs> Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. <laughs> it wasn't as good. Oh, okay. I think someone said he was talking about Jurassic Park. I've, I've never watched those, though. So. Tiny head. Tiny head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. That is a hat on a dinosaur. Please, can we make him wear it? I want to make him wear it. <laughs> He'll become a cowboy. Triceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Sorry, I was trying to look at her um, chemical burn. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator? <laughs> huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? <laughs> hey, is this gonna be a thing? Yes, Joe. Let it be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. <laughs> I want to make you wear it. I'm going to make you wear it. You are 100% going to wear it, Joel. You're not going to wait on this. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine <laughs> the poops. Yeah, there's one scene where uh, actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. Oh. Ew, Ellie. <laughs> Josh is like, what am I doing here? Yeah, boy. Uh. <laughs> good times, good times. Oh, did I get this guy? Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? <laughs> Scientists. Well, they're dumb. I know what I mean. Wyoming Museum. What is this and when can I see it? Oh, I see. Come on, Joe. You know the routine. Where is it? Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> this does. Floats it all day. Let's get that back though. And Joel, we're giving you this hat. I know it. We're gonna give it to you. 
Can we not give it to him? How do we make him wear the hat? I want to make him wear the hat. Joel, I will make you wear this hat. I want to make you wear it. Let me wear, wear it. <laughs> Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. What, from, from a movie? movie. <laughs> Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tony. Joe! I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. <laughs> Get you in the right light. Oh, Tony. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about. The Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something about Hyde for a bit. I got the info. I want to give him the hat. Joel, if you don't take this hat, I swear. Take the hat. Take the hat. Joel. Lyle Mim Museum. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I he swear did. that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. He didn't touch his watch. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. was here oh, you don't like it um we can head back yeah. oh shut up hey joel can you name all the planets <clears throat> my very educated mother just served us nice pizzas uh did you just have a stroke my mercury very dangerous mother mars oh okay I get it. That's pretty cool. Hey, Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gun, bro, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super flies? What? No. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the Don't go away from me. That is a fun fact. Well, wait. How would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. <laughs> okay. What's next? You tell me. Uh... Quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that... Gagarin? I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway. He flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. How many books have you read about this? Joel, isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Mm, I don't know. People in your time, they had it easy. Hmm. I guess relatively speaking, I'm sure. What's he got in his pocket? <laughs> they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. <laughs> ballsy. All right, kiddo. Now I get it. 
Oh yeah, we can read Hajano. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh wow, this goes back quite well. So that's a deer and a whatever. Joel and Tommy. Oh, he, she drew them as cowboys. Filming rotation flows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. No, so talk to me about how I, Hurley, I can sign up for the troll training. You know, and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he said I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smuggle, oh gee. Kurt sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably. 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 <laughs> probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. And There's a steering wheel. Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Where's the real one? Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I don't say no. How's it smell in there? Like space. And yeah, dust. Imagine just. <laughs> oh, that's funny in his pocket. Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it.
okay? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> we just stay. <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just... Here. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? <laughs> Can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. <sighs> hey, who's being there? What was that? For you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Oh. All right. There. My hat. Bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll I'll walk around the outside. <clears throat> okay, be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. Beasel. I kill it for them. This guy needed a hug. Uh, it's dark in here. The four soldiers at the gate. The last one cried. Oh, shit. The stragglers who. Oh, God. The stragglers who snuck into camp, they just wanted food. The kid who Come ran on, into fucker. the blast, I couldn't stop him. Why'd they have to turn this sad? The woman we tortured choked on her own blood. The people in the van, we locked them in and doused them with gas. There is no light. 
We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it will be worth it. We've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents love bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I took in. So... They're definitely from the fireflies. <gasps> Stupid big animal. See, the fireflies aren't good people. <laughs> I don't understand how you can look at that and say that the fireflies were good people. The fireflies and the WLF, they, in a world where there's no line between good and bad, they they clearly weren't good people. Like, I know there is no line. Here. There is no, oh, this is good, this is bad. But at this point, this is just immoral. Like... Who was it? It's just some animal. See? Oh. Well, let's get a move on. I want to... Get a fire going before it gets too dark. Why did they have to make this sad? This was going so well. Oh. This should have been a happy memory, and yet they just had to make it to do with the fireflies. See. Oh, we're in Seattle, they do. Okay. Um. That must have been so uncomfy to sleep, Billy. People have actually said that this shirt is Joel's shirt that she um, just tore the sleeves off. I can't remember what shirt it was, but it is one of his shirts. And she, she kept the pin. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm just very emotional right now, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm also sorry for crying. It was so dumb of me. I, it was just so stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I have a point. I know, I, I, I just wanna finish the game, this playthrough of the game, and then I will create a video stating my points on it and everything. But there is actually a point about the Last of Us 2 and that liar sign um, that was written. I just, uh, I kind of want to include it, but I kind of want to say it now. Um, but I'll, I'll just, I'll just talk about it in the video. Basically, it's saying the summary of what the post said that someone else saw. I saw it on Reddit. Um, it was just like thanks to Joel saving Ellie and like. Um, stopping the process of a possible vaccine and he helped uh, Joel helped that guy who we obviously saw the skeleton of see the light and see how bad and like the actual um, how bad the fireflies were as a group like I know um, Ellie was like oh yeah like her sixth grade teacher was being like calling the fireflies terrorists but I mean at the end of the day, from what we saw there, one, they, that, that kind of just um, proved the teacher's point. Like, we don't really know why they gas chambered and all of those people. We don't know who those people were. But it, it, that was torture. They were torturing people. We don't know why. But it, it, it doesn't, like, as I said, they walked away. Oh, so, so basically, what they, what kind of, um, it's it's very confusing. Basically, without the vaccine being created, they walked away with nothing, only their sins. However, it's kind of this game's kind of saying, well, no, if there was a vaccine, all those sins would have been erased. They wouldn't. Those sins would have still been committed. They still would have killed those people for 
any reason might be um, some one reason or literally no reason at all. We technically don't know. But what we do know is that the Fireflies aren't good people. WLF aren't good people. The Seraphites aren't good people. Jackson, from what we know, um, are really the only good people. Like, um, I don't think they kill other groups, to be honest. I, I don't know. But what we've seen, they... They do just live in, a, live in a peaceful committee, and the only people that they do kill are um, infected. That's really all we know about Jackson. Uh, we haven't been shown anything otherwise. Um, obviously, Ellie goes out and she kills all the W11 and whatever uh, on her revenge quest, but from what we see, the other people, they don't... Unless I've just missed something, they don't actually kill any other group. Um, unless they're about to get killed in the process. They kill bandits, but the bandits are attacking. So, like, they don't willingly go out and kill other people, apart from, obviously, said Ellie. Um, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> that was just, like, a bit of a rant. I will go more de into more depth with uh, the whole story game. It will probably be quite a long video talking about my opinion on The Last of Us 2. I'll do like a bias side, um, which will be my personal opinions on the game, and then I will do another side just coming at it with like points and facts and stuff like that, um, uh, evidence from both games. Uh, but actually one thing I do want to mention quickly, I know, I will mention this in the discussion video, but someone else said this as well um the, what the first game is great at doing is kind of erasing the line uh erasing the uh, is it ambiguity 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 i don't know what is that word it kind of just erases good or bad uh it erases all morals uh, so there is you cannot be immoral and moral you're just it's just gray but what the part two does it kind of erases that whole grayness and puts like oh no good and bad you are either good in this game or you are bad and what the ho whole first game was was joel finding the light again no matter what you keep finding something to fight for uh and he found ellie and so he fought for ellie and that was his next reason to fight they made him uh, a good... He is an anti-hero. He is an anti-hero. There's no doubt about that. And But he he didn't necessarily... I don't want to say good person. I'm, but he became a better person. 100% a better person. However, in part two, it, it kind of just paints him as a villain. Uh, Especially later on in the game, but it's why it's why I want to kind of make a discussion video out of it. I've obviously played the game, I've watched playthroughs, but it just kind of paint Joel as a villain, and that is not what the game's about. It's not what the whole Last of Us universe is about. The whole universe is uh, basis is kind of like okay, cure Ellie. Ellie is a cure. Ellie holds the charts for a vaccine but when you look under it it's about like love and just like family and survival and this game turns it into revenge and I don't it's one of the things I don't like about the last ones too okay I'm gonna stop ranting now I will make a video going into a full discussion of it that's just a teaser though that's a teaser of my opinions on it but yeah again i apologize for crying that was just very emotional scene for me i really really do miss joel um but yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next part of the last of us part two <laughs> Bye bye